feeling all right? You made it into the palace. I'm impressed. How is Nevia? Willow back. I should have known. It was under my nose the whole time. That's very helpful. Thank you. If this works, it should settle Rufius down some. I have some right here. Could you do me a favor and give him some of this? He'll just need to swallow a pinch of it. Thank you. That's a shame. Thanks again for saving Yulia's life. Name's Rufius. What business is that of yours? Willow Park. And this will work? Oh, thank God. Finally, some relief. This is what I've been praying for. I've been in a lot of pain lately. It was too much. I owe you one. No idea what you're talking about? I'll tell you this much. I hate the fact that my survival depends on the common sense of other people. Ah, oh, then you know what I'm talking about. I mean, all these people just bumble along like nothing's wrong. While we're one bad decision away from being wiped out. Like the last lot of people who lived here. Seems like I'm the only one ready for what's coming. Whatever that is, I don't know. But did you ever get the feeling some of these statues are watching us when we're not looking? That doesn't help me. No, I don't. I did hear a rumor that Aurelia, the tavern keeper, has been offering to sell a way out. Meliolus. Not sure I trust Sentius. Fine. No. Uh, fine, but no more favor. See you around.
feeling or you mid I have Thank That's a Names What the Are they? Ah, you've returned. Thank you. On your best behavior, I trust. What is it, citizen? What? Absolutely not. All right. I hope you have a good reason for flouting my weapons. impose it. Salve, friend. I'm Octavia. Welcome to life under the golden rule. All right, well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever... I can't believe this is how it ends. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. Orpheus, what are you doing? Get back from there. If you lose your balance, you'll fall. That's the idea. What? Why? Why would you want that? 
Why do you think? I'm stuck for the rest of my life, working for a man who treats me like an animal. I know, I know things are hard for you right now. They're hard for all of us. We're all in this together, Alpheus. Please, please just think this through. I'm sorry, but I just don't care anymore. Please, Alpheus. Help him. If he goes through with it, it could be the end for us all. Thank you. Let me guess. You're going to lecture me on how suicide is a crime against the Empire. You're not going to trick me. I'm no coward. I intend to go through with it. Like what? I'm stuck slaving away for that Culus Cumulates for the rest of my life. What do I have to live for? You're just saying that to buy time. You must think I'm an idiot. I am out. Wherever you are, Centilla, my love. I'm sorry. Alpheus, no! He went through with it. I... Well, I suppose it means suicide isn't a sin under the Golden Wall. So I guess that means whichever god is responsible for it, it isn't mine. I'll have to let everyone know what happened. And I guess Maliolus will have to clean up the mess in his villa. It's of his own making, after all. And I'd best pray for poor Ulpius. I hope you're... Here, in this place, the Magistrate has me earning my keep by cleaning and pruning the gardens. I used to live in a lovely villa on the banks of the Tiber, but long hours of menial labor for the good of the community has its own charms too, I suppose. Oh, much the same way as many of the others. We were among the fortunate ones with enough coins for passage. A scuffle broke out, and I was pushed overboard. I woke up by the... Oh, that's all right. Oh yes, of course. A slip of the tongue. If you like. Please, please keep that to yourself. I know you're not from around here, but... Oh, things are very difficult for us right now. There was a terrible fire in Rome last year, and our Emperor decided to make us his scapegoats. Oh, thank you. Hmm. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I think about those words a lot. I'd like to think that if we all love our neighbors as ourselves and do to them as we'd have them do to us, then we'll all be fine. But on the other hand, I was always taught the intent of man's heart is evil from his youth. And that's where I get stuck. Is it true? You don't think that's a little naive? Innocent men and women torn apart in arenas while thousands of Romans look on and cheer. Hmm. I wish I shared your faith. I'm afraid not. Although I did... I don't put a lot of stock in such rumors. If that doesn't work, then I suppose we're all stuck here until gods... Uh, the gods decide our fate. Oh, I see. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Oh, so soon? Well, be gentle on yourself. Thank you. Did you just leap into my villa from the balcony a hundred feet above? That was either extremely reckless or impressively clever. Well, why have you risked life and limb to see me? Of course not. But as I always say, if Sentius can't protect his daughter, how can we trust him to protect this city? Look, 
If you're trying to find her, you may wish to check the systems beneath this villa. Of course, just to be clear, I take no responsibility for what happens to you down there. You mean the children's fable exploited by Sentius to scare us all into doing what he wants? Wait, don't tell me you've fallen victim to that monstrous lie? Nonsense! There's no way you can prove that. If it was real and you'd seen someone break it, then you'd be dead already. Surely, you're not one of those people who believes everything you read. I disagree. What? Oh, ho, ho, I see what's happening here. True, but that is simply because you are mistaken. I'm afraid not. I'm Maliolus. I'm glad you asked. I'll finally restore freedom to this city, just as I've been promising. These good people have suffered long enough under Sentius' tyranny. By declaring there's no such thing as the Golden Rule. My name is Marcus Maliolus Gurgis. You seem to have confused me with someone else. You... You mean my heterochromia? I am guilty of nothing more than having different colored eyes. And I'm hardly the only person with the condition. Alexander the Great had it too, as it happens. I like to think it is simply the way the gods have chosen to mark a natural-born ruler. Nothing more. Well, I am not suffering from any delusions. That's quite all right. We all make mistakes. <laughs> Are you insane? Why would I withdraw from an election I'm bound to win? You fool. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are? Uh... Uh... Well... It... I'm a farmer. Always have been. One day, when I was about 20, my father and I were in the top paddock, loading our cart, when some Roman legionaries came along. My father told me to run into the house for his axe, and so I did. But by the time I got back, he was bleeding out on the ground, and her cart was empty. My mother died of a broken heart soon after. More raiding started before too long. We'd come outside in the morning to find animals missing, our stores pillaged. One night, when my sisters and I had nothing left to steal, there was a knock at the door. I knew who they were, and what they wanted. I got my father's old axe. Pulled the door open real quick, and before that soldier knew it, split his face right down the middle. But there were more of them. I never saw how many. Because the next thing I knew, I was waking up with a mouth full of dirt and lungs full of smoke. My home was reduced to ash. My sisters, dead. Yeah, well, I wasn't the only one this happened to. 
It wasn't long before Boudicca led thousands of Britons in a rebellion against the Romans. Unfortunately, there were just too many of them. And those of us who survived, they enslaved. I spent a few years working for my new master, learning the Romans' ways. Romanized my name and everything. Tried to escape a couple of times, but they always found me. I'd probably still be there, too, if it wasn't for the stampedes breaking out. Everybody was running. I got swept up with... Next thing I knew, some stranger was dragging me out of a river. That's what I thought, too, for a while. See, I finally had my own farm again, safe from the grasping hands of the Romans. Or, so I thought. Until Sentius the Decurion demanded I hand over all my produce. It's for the good of us all, he says. Only he takes the best bits for himself, of course. He even told me if I refuse his demands, I'll break the golden rule. I'm not sure I believe him, but then, what if he's right? So, it turns out our dear old magistrate is no better than the legion thugs who took everything from me. But don't you worry, Nemesis is waiting, and he'll get his, one day. He'll get his. Uh, forget I said that last part, will you? Thanks, friend. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Oh, I don't give it much thought these days. But I say, let's spend less time arguing about what it means to be good and just get on with it, you know? Uh, I can't see how I could vote for either candidate. Even I could do a better job. Me, a farmer. Well, as much as I'd love to get out of here, the harvest's always more fruitful in another man's field, isn't it? If anyone knows for sure, it'll be her sister, Sentia. All right. Best behavior, I trust. Welcome. All right, well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever... I can't believe this is how it ends. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. Wolf P.S. That's... What? Why do you... I'm... Please... I'm sorry. Please, help. Thank you. know about that? How is that possible? I mean, I've never mentioned it to anyone. Well, if you say so, you don't understand. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's too late for that. If I backed out now, I'd be betraying her. No, I am out. Wherever you are, Santilla, my love, I'm sorry. Opius, no! That was not your fault. I'll have, and I...
Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls. But it does not notice the crowds that come. The bloodless shuts on the house of the ru- They never do. There is only a downward path. Help me. You cannot help me. It is better for you if you remain ignorant. The bloodless shadows. The newly arrived. Cerberus lifts his trip. head and lets out his threefold braying. Livia, would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? being too forward, but the moment I laid eyes on you, I was intrigued. There's a light in your eyes I've never seen before. Oh, I see. You prefer the company of men. Maybe you should go and make friends with Virgil instead. <sighs> I take back what I said. Suddenly, I don't find you so intriguing anymore. Let's just forget that ever happened. Ugh, let it go. You know, normally, I'd expect you to buy me a drink before asking if I want to get out of here. Straight to business, huh? As a matter of fact, I do know a way out. I'm happy to tell you all about it, but... So, how badly do you want it? Simple. It's a one-way trip. I think of it this way. I have something of value, and I'm willing to share it for a price. Ha! It's hardly my fault if people misunderstand the terms of a deal. I just try not to think about it. Certainly. For ten denarii. Have you met Livia? She used to do my hair, until one day she just snapped. Now she just stands around, caked in filth, muttering nonsense to herself. I hear that if Maliolus is... There used to be a midwife here, Naivia. Fortunately for us, Centilla. How can we... Whatever... All right.
What are you doing here? Please leave. I said please leave. You're trespassing. Day, friend. I hope. Oh, so. Nice to... God hasn't noticed yet. But when he does, we're going to have a problem. There is only one true God. I am doing that. I don't like where this is going. I have no idea what you're talking about. I have nothing to say to Stop right there. Thank you. She needed this exact medicine. You just saved a person's life, and maybe she can take in the mean that. <sighs> Isn't the great mm -hmm. temple majestic? A new face, are they? A 
I'm quite sure it's the work of the gods. We asked for blessing, but here it... I find myself reminded of an especially pertinent tale from our great poet Ovid. In... Would you like to hear it? As you... It must be completed by dusk. It'll be between Sentius, the incumbent. Why do you... Sir... See you... The many shall suffer for the sins of the one.